Well, hello, everybody, and welcome to another meeting of the MCAT Club. This is our weekly call for Monday, December 2nd, 2013. My name is Don Osborne, and I am the host of the MCAT Club, and I hope you guys had an amazing holiday last week. The MCAT Club is the place to go for up-to-date information about studying for the MCAT, MCAT prep, and we even answer your MCAT-related questions live here on the call. You can find the MCAT Club at Importer.com, and we're also on Facebook, and we're on YouTube, and we're on Twitter, and Google Plus, and Pinterest, and who knows, maybe next week I'll be on Vine and on iTunes, and I'll be doing a podcast as well. As a medical school admissions consultant, coach, expert guy, I work with students who are very focused on wanting to get into medical school, but may be stuck or feel uncertain about parts of their application and would like to get helpful advice from someone with a wide, wide range of experiences in applying to different medical schools from different universities around the country. And I promise you that I am the most uplifting, hopeful, and encouraging advisor that you'll ever meet. Joining me on the call today is Ben Williams. Say hi, Ben. Hey, hi everyone. Thanks for having me. The CEO of Firecracker and the website is, uh, I will put into the show notes for the, the correct domain name. Um, so Ben, uh, how are you, man? How's it going? Did you eat too much? <laughs> I'm great. Thanks a lot. I actually, yeah, I grazed today. So, uh, I'd say medium, medium level blood sugar, but uh, I'll be good, I believe. That's very awesome. So obviously I can see on your site that you created a service to help people like me study for, you know, MCAT courses and uh, for pre-med as well. And so this is not a really exactly an, uh, a smartphone app, is it? It's more of a, like an HTML5 membership site, am I right? Yeah, so we have a mobile optimized website, um, but the main goal of Firecracker is to help people learn and remember the key material that they need to know, not only for their classes, uh, but also for their standardized exams. Um, so we have over 10,000 medical students using us, uh, and we just are launching a pre-med program. Uh, and the way people use us is as a complement to their coursework that you know helps them, again, do well in their classes, but also simultaneously uh, prepares them for the standardized exams. Um, the smart students uh, are signing up for our program because they recognize that that's really the best way to make sure you crush um, both your classes and your standardized exams in the most efficient way possible. You know, the old way of, okay, well, I'm going to be a pre-med and focus on classes, and then three months before the MCAT, I'll study. You know, that's it just it's not going to cut it anymore. Um, and, you know, med school is the same thing. Uh, people are realizing that, you know, two months before, you know, a big test like their first licensing exam, which basically determines what uh, specialty they can go into, um, you know, it's just, it's not going to cut it. Taking a Kaplan course for even, you know, a couple weeks, a month, it's just, it, it doesn't work. You know, you really have to make sure that you beat the material into your head over time alongside your classes. It's just far more efficient um, and that you start okay. practicing, applying what you know um, sooner. So our system... All right. so uh, yeah, back up. Tell me the story. What yeah. happened to you that, of all things that you could be working on, got you thinking about putting this together? Wind me back and bring me up to speed. Okay, cool. Yeah. Um, so let me see. The, so the, my story is, <clears throat> I think, pretty consistent um, in illustrating the, uh, the value that Firecracker brings. So when I got to Harvard College, uh, I was pre-med. I realized really quick that the highest performing students were not smarter. They just studied better. Um, uh, and in particular, they really did um, three things. Uh, they all did the same three things. Um, okay. They were always, and, and these three things were, were never taught to me, um, you know, in school. Uh, you know, uh, they were just really good study skills. Um, and I think, you know, now in hindsight, they end up being things that learning memory science and education research associates with higher performing students and, and better, uh, you know, learning and, and retention, et cetera. So no surprise that it worked. And these three things were, number one, they were always quizzing themselves on the material. So not only after learning it the first time to see how well they understood it, but also as a way to review the material to make sure they didn't forget it. So in other words, kind of learning by doing. Um, and yep. this retrieval practice has been, you know, uh, proven to be super, super effective. That's why flashcards okay. are very effective. 
Um, number two, they were always restudying, uh, restudying material, and they uh-huh. didn't wait uh, until right before a midterm or a final to cram. So no cramming, um, you know. And they did this by keeping a, a really rigorous uh, study plan, and they prioritized what and when to review based on how well they knew it. Um, so, for example, topics they were uh, weak on, they would study every day. Topics they felt okay about every week. Topics they knew well the week before a test, and they really keep kept track of that. And and as they learned things better, they kind of escalated them from, you know, tough things to medium things to then easy things, and they changed their review plan accordingly. Uh, and then the last thing that they all did was, <clears throat> as soon as they could, I had some friends who literally even before day one of classes. Uh, they would do as many test-like questions as possible. So I had some friends who literally before the class, they would take um, the practice exam. And even though they would get most of it wrong, they found that it it really helped kind of prime them to understand, you know, better than the syllabus could, uh, what mm-hmm. the course was really going to require them. Um, and again, all of this stuff, uh, Firecracker, you know, uh, has in its program, uh, but it's also, these are three of the most proven learning and memory science principles. 